Invesco stock, ticker symbol is IVZ, currently trading for $13.60 a share. It's on a bit of a downtrend at the moment, like most stocks. Today was a pretty bad day all around. Pays a dividend four times per year. The current dividend yield is about 5.8%, and it pays 20 cents a share. Its current dividend payout ratio, from what I could see, was 66%, which isn't too bad. And what Invesco does is manages investments for retail and institutional markets. Invesco is an independent investment management firm. It operates in about 110 countries, and I'll leave this up here if you want to have a read through it yourself. Pretty big company, 8,600 employees. Its current value, decided by the stock market, which is its market cap, is about $6.5 billion. It has a PE ratio of 9.5, and from what I could see, the average PE ratio for the financial industry in the US was about 5, so it is trading a bit more expensive than the average of that industry at the moment. Invesco has a current revenue of about $6 billion, has an earnings per share of $1.52, and a decent dividend yield of 5.5%. Our general opinion with dividend stocks is that the spot between about 3% and 5% is the sweet spot. Anything over that is getting a little bit risky, and anything above 10% is certainly risky. So Invesco at the moment is pretty low down in my positions. If you've never been on this channel before, the strategy I'm using is to buy small amounts of hundreds of companies and never sell them just to see how they do. So I have, I put five euro into Invesco on the 11th of June of 2021. I have not updated my position since, but I'm now 40% down. So I'm probably going to buy some as soon as I have a bit of spare money to put in. So we'll have a quick look at their financials and I'll leave this financial summary up here if you want to have a read through it. Looks like quite a bit of bad news all around. Today certainly was a red day. So Invesco's profit margin over the last year is 15%, which is not bad. And over the last quarter is about 13%. Invesco has a current debt to assets ratio of about 50%, which is good. Over the last quarter, it's about the same, 48%. And Invesco's annual cash flow from operating is about $700 million. From investing is negative $375 million. And from financing is negative almost a billion dollars. So my guess is, I'm no professional, but my guess is that when markets in general go down, investment services and investment management companies are going to suffer some heavy losses along with the, all the rest of us, but they're operating with hundreds of millions of dollars. But we'll have a quick look at Invesco's long-term graph to see how it's doing at the moment compared to its history. So Invesco was founded in 1978, and this graph goes back to 1995, so it's a Decent long-term history, gives us a good scale of what's been happening, and it is like a roller coaster. Here we have 2000, that is the dot-com bubble, if I'm not mistaken, and the price went from 47 US dollars a share in November of the year 2000, and by October 2002, it was down to $11 a share, massive drop. Then we have the 2008 financial crisis, went from $25 a share down to $9 a share within a year. Recovered pretty nicely over the next couple of years. And along here is where we get into. Along here is where we get closer to our current state. And this little drop here is 2020. That's lockdown all around the world. And when I had a look at the dividend history of Invesco, it seems that they dropped the dividend massively in 2020, as a lot of companies did. But they have since been raising it. But anyway, the year's range in price for Invesco shares is between $13 and $20, and we're now at $13.60, so we're close to the lowest it's been in the last year. So although I think it will go lower, briefly it could go a lot lower, I don't think I'm going to wait and see if I can time the bottom or anything. I'm just going to invest a little bit if I have it. But I'll give you a look at the long-term dividend history of Invesco now. So this is my go-to site for a dividend history. Obviously, when you're researching any stock and intending on making a purchase, you should check as many sources as possible before you make a decision. But this is just my go-to that I usually use. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. The history goes down to 2012, and it seems that they keep the dividend about the same amount for the four payments per year, and they were raising it every year. And then as we get up to 2020, it went from 31 cents a share. It was cut in half. 15.5 cents a share they still paid it every quarter but they obviously made a decision that they can't keep that up but since then they have raised it every year now it's no diamond in the rough to be honest with you but i do like the look of it and i would rather not wait and see if it falls any lower before i buy anything if i have even 10 euro a payday to throw in i will because i'm currently 40 percent down and that's a good discount as far as i'm concerned so i'll wrap the video up with a quick summary of everything i've been talking about
in Vesco. Ticker symbol is IVZ. It's currently $13 per share at the moment, close to the lowest it's been in a year. It currently pays a dividend four times per year and it's expected to be about 20 cents per share. It has a current dividend yield of 5.8%. Payout ratio from what I could see was 66%. So it's paying out 66% of its profits to shareholders as a dividend. Its PE ratio is 9.5, which is above the average that I could see, which was 5. The next ex-dividend date is the 9th of November. IVZ has a current market cap of $6.5 billion, a current revenue of $6 billion, and it is an investment management company based in the USA. So let me know what you think about it. You know, it's nothing too spectacular in my eyes, but 5% dividend yield on a company that's been around since the 70s seems like a decent decision. I already have a position in it, and I'm going to try and get it to my 100 euro mark along with all my other positions. But anyway, that's it for this one, and let me know what you think of Invesco stock.